How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Corey Roy, and today is my birthday. Instead of receiving gifts or presents, I decided to uh, give something back to the world. Um, I'm going to teach you a concept, technique, however you say it, that will uh, be guaranteed to level you up, despite what style of dance that you do in the world, whether it's popping, animation, if you're a tutter, if you're a ballerina, if you're an ice skater, if you're a crumper, you get the idea. Um, but this technique I learned over the years of um, five years just dancing inside my garage, of learning uh, various tutorials, of um, looking up interviews and taking workshops, and it's all accumulated to this one technique um, that'll help you tremendously. Now, um, before I tell you what that is, um, I do want to say a disclaimer. Um, these are my views. These are my. Um, these are things that work for me. Uh, I can't say that it is completely right, or if it's, um, you know, uh, accurately correct. Uh, so I highly suggest uh, you all to, you know, re do your own research. So the technique that I'm going to show you is called texture changing or texture changes. Okay. Um, so when you're listening to the song and you know you're trying to understand how to move to it, there's always a moment in the song where the, the music changes, or there's another layer of instruments that are added to the song, or um, a drop happened. And you know now the song sounds totally different than what it is, or there might be a slight change, or sometimes the song's the same, but you just feel like you need to change something. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's where texture change comes in. Now don't con get confused when I say texture change, meaning changing your style. Like you definitely don't want to go from like popping to like you know breaking and uh, stuff like that, unless you have um, adequate transitions that can get you from, you know, those styles. Um, this texture change is different. It's about changing the texture or the vibe of your, the, the, the stuff that you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So for example, a texture change would be, you could be going from slow-mo, like a slow-mo walk, to fast. You know, the, the contrast between going slow and then going fast is considered a texture change because you're changing the texture or the timing of uh, that movement. Uh, texture changes can also apply to different um, techniques in your dance. So for example, with popping, you can go pa, 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 and then you can do the same thing, right, but lower. Or you can turn around. Bah, 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 bah. Or you can slow down. Bah, 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 bah. Or you can do that while moving. Those are all examples of texture changes. You know, um, the way that I do it is I'll, I'll I have you know, multiple styles within popping that I do, okay? Um, there's my scarecrow style, you know? Sorry, my bad. There's my puppet style. There's the scarecrow style, you know? There's um, animation, which is kind of like a sub-genre of uh, popping, but you know, so you can change the textures in you know pretty much any style that you want, or you can switch from um, style to style if you have the right transitions to it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, for example, here's another example. I can go from you know touching. Now I wanted to switch to style the the um, the, the texture of my tutting, 
I can add some animation to it. Make sense? So that last example was mixing animation with cutting, okay? Um, what if I wanted um, to change my, my, my texture when I'm waving, you know? So most people think of waving as this, right? So what if I did the same thing here, 
But if I um, add in levels to my weaving, you know, that is considered a texture change. So if I do the wave, I want it to add levels. I can wave down, wave up, wave, change my direction, you know, um, change it again. I want to move with my wave, see? Uh, I can um, tick with the wave. Um, I can change the line of my wave. I can tuck wave, wave tuck. You know, um, Aqua Boogie has an amazing tutorial of uh, waving and all the different ways that you can do. I think he calls it. Waving Dictionary 101. Um, so look up Aqua Boogie for waving. <laughs> but those are examples of how you can switch up the texture um, by using the techniques of the, the, the styles that you already do. Okay? So here is an ex uh, a drill I want you to check or uh, uh, try out. So whatever style that you're doing, okay, I want you to think of a few things. I want you to think of how can I change my level? Okay? How can I move? How can I change the perspective? How can I change the timing? What's the fifth one? Oh, and how can I change the vibe? Okay? Um, so an example of that is, okay, so I'm doing... Um, I don't know, I'm doing some, um, uh, I'm doing some tuts, okay? Since we're already talking about tuts. Okay, so most people do tuts like this, right? Oh, 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 you got a box. Um, so how do I move with this tut? So if I, go, if I go down here, pull myself. And I can push, pull. Push, pull, cap, cap, cap. How do I uh, some how move? How do I change the perspective? Move, Okay. Uh, how do I change the vibe of it? So changing the vibe. Uh, instead of all angular, how about we do wavy, kind of floaty touch. You know what I'm saying? This changes up the entire vibe of it. And I want them cutting really smoothly, really loosely. You know, angles are kind of there, but you know, I don't really want to mess with it. Um, how do I change the timing? So instead of just going from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, so you can play with the order of the type. You can also play with the timing of the text, okay? Make up your own pattern. Um, so we, got, we talked about moving, we talked about um, turn, changing the perspective, which is what turning is. Uh, we talked about changing the vibe. Um, yeah, so those are some examples of um, different things you can do, just the same things that you've already done.
y'all um i hope you enjoyed that tutorial that walkthrough um and if you want more tutorials or anything like this again um let me know in the comments and uh follow me for more um follow my dance crew insert crew name here all one word uh i c n h dance i c n h dance dot com uh if you want to learn more about my dance crew uh we also put blog posts uh, on there as well for, you know, helpful articles, helpful um, tutorials, uh, helpful insights um, for everything in the world of street style dance. Um, shout out to all my OGs. Um, shout out to What's Poppin' Page. Uh, shout out to um, uh, Indiana, Seattle, uh, and uh, all the states in between. So, peace.